This tutorial will cover the printing of spine and barcode labels within the OPALS program. The OPALS help page provides information on the labels supported by OPALS, purchasing pre-printed or blank barcode and spine labels, ordering barcodes from a vendor, and alignment of labels in your printer. Go to help.opalsinfo.net. In the search box on the right side of the screen, type in labels and click the search button. Opal supports Avery 5160 blank labels that can be used for both barcodes and spine labels. Avery 5160 blank labels can be purchased from an office supply store such as Staples, Amazon, or directly from MediaFlex. In addition, we support the Demco 1 by 1 and 2 3rd inch spine labels. These Demco labels can be purchased on our site as well. Please click the link shown here to order direct, or you can purchase from Demco as well. We also sell clear label protectors that work well protecting library printed labels. In addition to blank labels, we offer pre-printed barcode labels that are a bit more expensive than blank labels, but are of a higher quality in both the adhesive and the laminate covering the barcode label itself. Clicking any links here will direct you to our product pages for labels, covers, and other peripheral items. Please review the section on ordering labels from a vendor. This is very important as it will ensure that your labels will work well with opals, scanners, and many other systems. I am highlighting a section of importance on purchasing labels from vendors. It is recommended to provide these exact specifications to your book vendors. Please also review another opals tutorial on using the barcode range assignment and tables. This will assist you in organizing and maintaining barcode ranges assigned to various vendors. We also have sections on the alignment of labels in your printer, as detailed here. This is important as it provides help with getting your labels to print correctly, depending on the browser you use and the label stock and printers used by your library. Laser printing is your only option for labels because the print does not bleed into the paper or dissolve in moisture. It is also best to protect your labels with a clear polyester cover, available from MediaFlex, as noted earlier in this tutorial. Inkjet printers are not recommended for printing barcodes, as the ink bleeds in the paper and destroys the very unique relationship between the width of the black line and the width of the space between the lines, thereby making invalid characters for the scanner to interpret and read correctly. We will look at the following options to print labels in opals. These are also detailed in these help pages. 1. Print from the acquisition list, barcodes and or spine labels for your newly cataloged items. 2. Print barcodes or spine labels using the hit list option. And 3. Print a range of barcodes to have on hand for new acquisitions to your collection. I will start with print from the acquisitions list, barcodes and or spine labels existing on your new items. Select Administration tab, Reports and Tools, Item Statistics Reports on the far left, and the first report, Item Acquisitions. While you can, of course, click the Fiscal Year button to print out labels for all cataloged items since the beginning of your fiscal year, a more likely choice will be the Date Range Selection button. Once you choose the Date Range, click on the calendar icons to select a From and a To Date. Records entered during this time frame will come up on the report and you can print spine and barcode labels as needed. Also note that when you open the report, it will create a report for that day. So if you've cataloged items today, when you open the report, it will default to all items cataloged on this particular day, and you can begin the process of printing barcode, spine labels, one or the other, or both. 25 items were cataloged today. Upon opening the report, it defaults to today's cataloging, so I am able to print barcodes and spine labels for these items. 
to print labels for all 25, I will select both pages by clicking the Select Page option on the left side, and then do the same for page 2. Once all records have been selected, you will click the Print Item Label Sets button. For this tutorial, I will first print out the barcodes for these 25 items using the Avery 5160 stock loaded in my printer. When the barcodes are done, I will load my Demco stock in the printer and print out spine labels. You can choose to have title, author, call number on the barcodes, but I am choosing the label without the call number for this tutorial. Put a check mark in the circle and then choose Print Selected. A new window will open and as I am using Chrome the window appears as you see here. I will click the printer button top right and the labels will load and you can simply choose print. Please note that you should not have fit to page selected as the labels will not print correctly. Unlike a paper or letter I may write where I want the text to fit to the page to look nice, I do not want the labels to fit to the page but to print on each label so make sure fit to page is not selected. Click your print button and your barcode should start printing. I have printed my barcodes for the items catalog today and will now print my spine labels. I will load the Demco stock in the printer, choose print label sets, and this time choose print spine labels. I am choosing without location for this tutorial and we'll choose the top option which is for the Demco 1 by 1 and 2 thirds labels. Click Print Selected and the labels will load. Again, make sure you do not have Fit to Page selected. Finally, if you would like to print both the barcode and the spine labels together, you will need to use the Avery 5160 label stock. Make sure the records are chosen and choose Print Item Label Sets. The print window will open and choose Print Labels Set. For this example, I will choose Labels with Library School Name. Then click Print Selected at the bottom. The print window will open and the spine labels are on the far left and the barcodes are towards the middle. Make sure Fit to Page is not chosen and click Print. Your spine label and barcode labels will start to print. Once finished, you will need to trim off the spine label to apply to the spines of your books. We will now print labels using the Hit List Search option. This can be found by going to the Admin tab choose Reports Tools, and in the Tools section choose the fourth option down, Print Barcode Spine Labels from Hit List. This tool option enables you to create a hit list by using various search strategies from a barcode text list or scan or searching, and then print barcodes and or spine labels for the selected items. First, we will look at scanning barcodes directly into the tool creating a list. This is typically used to print spine labels for items already having a barcode. If you are scanning barcodes into the search box located above the word advanced, make sure your cursor is in place. You can leave the small blank window to the right as it is. Each title will appear on the left side and right side of the screen with its barcode appearing in selected barcodes box on the right. The next scan will do the same, one title appearing but adding another barcode to the list of selected barcodes. Continue repeating this as long as you wish. Barcodes have been scanned and now printing can take place. I will print spine labels for this example by clicking print label and choose print spine label without location and use the 1 by 1 and 2 thirds Demco stock. The basics of printing and not choosing fit to page have been covered earlier in this tutorial. Here is your print screen with the spine labels populated and ready to print.
In the next example, we will search for records that need labels printed. Search for items for which to print barcode or spine labels using the drop-down list. I will choose Title. You will type your search in the small window above the word Advanced. Please note that we are using a simple search. If you click the word Advanced, more search options appear to assist in your searching. Once searched, a table will appear listing the results of the search on the left side. After your search result appears, select the holding for which barcode or spine label is needed, and they will appear on the right side of your screen below the title Selected Records. Do this after each search, and all titles will appear on the right side. When done, you can print the labels as needed. The final example for this tutorial will be to use the Hit List tool and upload a file of barcodes to print labels. I have scanned barcodes into a Notepad file. Again, we recommend Notepad as it is the easiest tool. You can use other word processors, but make sure you save as a text file. On our help pages for labels, there are details if you do not have Notepad and will be using another tool. Here are the notes. I have a file of barcodes scanned in a notepad and will choose Upload Barcodes from File. Locate the file and click Add. You will see the records populate on the right side of the screen. If you wish to remove an item, click the red X to the left of the title and it will be removed from the list. Once you are ready, click the Print Label button at the top and you will be directed to the print page that we have seen earlier in this tutorial. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. As needed, please consult our notes for labels on the OPALS help pages at help.opalsinfo.net.